Welcome to Uncage. Today we're speaking with Raj Bhatnagar. Raj is the chief executive officer of Neolytics, which is a company that provides non-clinical management services to healthcare provider organizations. And so I know I've been talking a lot about healthcare on the podcast, on the webcast over the last couple of months. And I'd be very, very interested to hear your perspective on how things are developing as well as how Neolytics is growing. But before we get into that story, Raj, tell us a little bit about you and your career. Oh, thanks uh, for having me here, Ben. Uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, so I started my journey uh, pretty much in the shared services space, ran uh, global shared services for about 21 years, uh, you know, working with uh, some large clients, including Microsoft, uh, Apple, uh, AIG, uh, Tenet Healthcare. And then about five years ago, I decided to come uh, into Neolytics, stepped into Neolytics. This is a company that I had, uh, you know, initially co-founded, but stepped away uh, because I was working just full-time corporate. Uh, I think last five years have been very exciting and, you know, we kind of continue our uh, growth journey. But for me, you know, because my experience has been very global, you know, just working uh, with teams in India and in Philippines and China, Ireland, Mexico, and even stateside, uh, that's the aspect that, you know, I think we are really adopting uh, you know, at Neolytics as well. And that continues to be our, uh, you know, journey. Well, I love the fact that you were one of the founders, you stepped away, you did some other things. Now you're back. And uh, you've been back for a, a while, a little bit here, you know, I think you stepped into the chief executive officer role about middle of this year. And so tell me a little bit about what's happening right now at Neolytics. So I think uh, one of the most exciting things that we did this year was uh, started really developing some digital health solutions to support healthcare organizations. There's a lot of movement in the industry on moving to value-based care. And, you know, Medicare has been pushing it for the last few years. Uh, there's still a lot of education and awareness that needs to happen in the industry. Uh, and for us, the decisive moment was when uh, you know, you bring in technology and you bring in caregiving and you can create something that can really uh, impact both people who provide care and people who receive care. And, you know, when you think of the future, always, you know, like Jetsons, it's, you know, you imagine advancements that can really help people in a very different way than we imagine it to be. And, you know, a lot of the remote patient monitoring technologies that have started coming in the last few years and the way that they are impacting and how they are becoming slowly mainstream and the evolution path that they are following, that's really exciting. And I think we are uh, super excited to be a part of that, super excited that we can participate in bringing those solutions to our clients. Well, if if someone could just hook me up to every machine and monitor and tell me any time things are slightly out of whack, I'd be happy to do that. Albeit, I think that there still seems to be a lot of folks that worry about uh, issues on data privacy and, and all those fun topics. But I mean, when you look out into the industry right now, Raj, and you're sitting with some of your customers, you know, what what's top of mind for them right now? Look, I think in healthcare, uh, compliance and security are always, uh, you know, things that almost everybody worries about. And and you're right, you know, with uh, cybersecurity becoming a very key point of discussion. I mean, every day you hear about, you know, people who get hacked into are ransomed, uh, you know, for the information that is theirs. Uh, that is scary. And, you know, it, it's one of those things, right? You almost say, well, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Right? Yeah. So you've got to prepare for it that way. Um, I think that's definitely one. And I think the on the other side, it's the, just the reimbursement landscape for a lot of providers. Uh, you know, it's the rules are getting complex. There's more... Uh, you know, stress that is given out to providing value to the overall care that is provided to physicians. It's not just 
you know, fee for service anymore. There's uh, more, there's more being demanded. And what it does is that as, as a lot of as service providers, we feel that you know, we are challenged now. We need to be able to do more and do better so that we can service, you know, what is really needed by the organizations. I love it. I mean, I would say in general, the feeling and the, I'd say the sentiment that's come out across many of the executives that we've spoken to in the healthcare space is that there's a lot of optimism about technologies and new practices coming down the pike. But at the same time, you know, there, there are real challenges uh, that we face, whether it be hospitals being short staffed, maybe regulatory t- concerns. It's a mixed bag right now. But uh, me being an optimist, I clearly know you, Raj, you know, you're seeing things from the glass half full perspective. <laughs> Let me ask you more about what drove you into this profession and, and, you know, what drives your passion for what you do? So, you know, I... I think that very early on in my career, I, uh, you know, when you start out, you start out a lot of different things. Um, and the one thing that was hugely satisfying for me was, you know, when, when you are able to bring in solutions to a problem, it is such a high. Um, and I think even to date, when we think about, or when I think about, you know, taking any kind of a solution, to a customer, to a problem that they face. Um, heck, even fixing the furnace, right? It's the moment when you solve the problem that gives you that huge amount of satisfaction. To me, that really motivates me. And you add a layer of complexity on that. You add people from different backgrounds, high-performing teams, you bringing them together, bringing in the technology, and you put something complicated together, it's uh, it's extremely satisfying. And I think that's really, that drives a lot of joy, uh, you know, in the work that we do day to day. Raj, I mean, here we are, we are coming to the end of one year, starting a new one. What do you see on the landscape that you're excited about generally in the industry? You know, it's, it's becoming cliche now, right? But AI, is is huge. Um, when will we be able to use it in the healthcare industry in a manner that doesn't raise eyebrows as ethical use? Um, I think it is still out there, but I think you know, as uh, as an industry, we are definitely moving towards where I see more and more of it being used uh, and implemented in the future. So that's very exciting you know for us uh, look doing claims sending claims out and getting the money it's the it's not very exciting it's boring yeah. it's repetitive it's manual but it needs to be done yeah right and i think there's a significant opportunity and things like that. As a customer, I'm happy, Raj, if your hospital customers, you know, reduce it by 70 or 80 percent in the price, and then we're we're all happy. <laughs> right. Exactly, right. Yeah. And I think, you know, it is possible. Uh, but I think that, you know, uh, and the beauty with technology is that, you know, if you're able to figure it out, then the incremental cost of it is really low. And I think that's the opportunity that it's not just us. I know there's a lot of other companies who are focusing on building that capability and bringing it to the market. You know, it's just like, you know, whoever makes the vaccine first, right? Well, I mean, 2024 will be your first year back in the driver's seat as a chief executive officer. Tell me what's specifically on the docket for Neolytics. I think, uh, Next year is exciting and a little nerve wracking at the same time, uh, you know, for us. Um, I am excited because I think we are in a significant expansion mode uh, in 2024. Um, we are looking for a larger office in downtown Chicago in the West Loop area. We yes. are opening a bigger office in, in the Philippines in Manila. Uh, we are opening an office, a larger one now in uh, in Delhi, India. So there's a lot of expansion uh, happening. Uh, we've put together, you know, uh, a management team already where 
Yeah, you know, we recently hired uh, Mindy who came in as VP of sales. She has a nursing background. She's done a lot of business development, but she's also being, being a nurse, she's also a, a, a clinician. So oh. a lot of that is really going to help us in, you know, um, razor focusing on the solutions that we want to present and, you know, take to the market. Uh, that is really exciting. Um, and, you know, it's nerve wracking because look, you know, as, as a business, which is growing, yeah, the biggest fear that I have is I want to make sure that we have uh, growth which is sustainable and we can continue to deliver the stellar services based on which we have formed our reputation in the, in the industry. And yeah. so our focus is to make sure that we can continue to do that and I can provide resources to the teams that enable them. Well, I mean, kudos to the growth. Uh, it's always exciting to set up new operations and offices and the west loop is amazing i'm jealous that you're there you can uh, take over oprah winfrey's old uh, studio <laughs> maybe but um you know raj it's been great learning about what you and the neolytics team are up to if someone wanted to learn more about what you and neolytics are doing where's the best place to find you well you know um our website and we have uh, you know we invest a lot of time and effort and uh, these newsletters that are compiled by our team, they do an amazing job uh, providing information in a very distilled format uh, and sending out updates. Uh, they're available to be subscribed on our website, uh, httpsneolytics.com. And, uh, you know, for us, uh, you know, you can reach me on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm available, um, you know, a simple name search should show me up, hopefully. Um, and then, you know, you can follow Neolytics uh, on uh, Twitter uh, as Neolytics and on Instagram as well. And Raj, I mean, I think I'd be remiss to not ask you the million dollar question here. I see in uh, our database that you are passionate about whiskey. Tell me a little bit about uh, your love for whiskey. I will need a more time for this then, man. <laughs> <laughs> I could go on and on. <laughs> well, I hope you find a place to toast the end of one year and the beginning of another year. Congratulations on the new the new role at Neolytics and congratulations on uh, what seems to be a promising 2024. We've been speaking with Raj Bhatnagar. He is the chief executive officer of Neolytics which is a company that provides non-clinical management services to healthcare provider organizations. They're based in Chicago, but they have global operations. And we've been talking to Raj really about that evolution of a company and the global nature of those operations to make sure that they can deliver high quality at efficient costs of value that makes sense for the healthcare industry. Raj, thank you so much for being on the Uncaged Show, and we look forward to having you back.